People from across Louisiana are protesting a proposed health care bill penned by Senator Bill Cassidy. A rally put on by Indivisible Baton Rouge was held today at the Capitol as part of a nationwide advocacy group. Demonstrators say the legislation would risk coverage for more than 400,000 people in the Medicaid expansion program. But Senator Cassidy disagrees, hoping to put more power in the states to be used at their discretion. Danielle Garcia was at the Capitol today and she has more with parents who say their children's lives depend on this decision. I don't know how much financially we can do this. Yes, it's cheap, cheaper to bury our children, but we shouldn't have to. Angela Lorio and Jessica Michaud both have sons who were born prematurely. At just four years of age, Gabriel and John Michael's medical needs range from trachs to feeding tubes. He still requires a ventilator at night during sleeping hours um, when he's sick, and Medicaid happens to pay for that ventilator because they service that ventilator and our private insurance will not. But with the passing of Cassidy's bill, that could all change. The way it is right now um, has allowed him to be alive. And if that has changed, the way this bill is written, he will not be doing well, he will quickly decline, and he could die. The trach mamas were amongst the dozens of people who stood outside the state capitol protesting the health care plan Senator Cassidy is proposing. It would take away all subsidies that make insurance affordable for people in the individual market and would replace all of that with an inadequate block grant. It would also open up the system so that states could discriminate against people with pre-existing conditions. If the graham Cassidy health care bill is passed, then it could effectively end Medicaid expansion for more than 433,000 Louisiana residents alone. Graham Cassidy bill has got to go. That statistic provided by the Louisiana Department of Health. However, Senator Bill Cassidy says these people with pre-existing conditions will still get covered. I'm a physician who worked in a public hospital for 25 years caring for those with pre-existing conditions. Our language says that if a state wishes to do something different, as they do something different, they must first establish that those with pre-existing conditions have access to affordable and adequate coverage. With his medical background, that he ignores those with disabilities. He ignores how this so greatly affects them. In Baton Rouge, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3.